a picture is worth a thousand words because it can say so much so quickly. So an infographic might be priceless with all its information so visually appealing packed into a relatively small space. An infographic is really just a visual representation of any type of information, data, or knowledge. It may have been around for a long time. Think cave paintings or hieroglyphics. It may have been created by hand by some of your youngest students. Or it may be made from any program that allows you to manipulate text and pictures, like Word, Publisher, Google Docs. The list is endless. Infographics can also be created by expensive professional design programs or designed by expensive professionals, but they don't have to be. So why do we use infographics? What's the big deal other than they look pretty cool? Look around you. 21st century learners are visual learners. Today's learners, including us, get a lot of our information visually. It's expected. We're used to it. We live in it and we respond well to visual representations of information. Research has shown that information presented visually is six times more effective than just text and is retained better. Let's look at a tool called PictoChart.com. Their mission is to simplify information and make it exciting. Sounds like a pretty good plan. They'll help you turn boring black and white information into colorful and exciting stories using whatever data you want. Now that we have a little background about infographics, let's explore PictoChart.com a little more. PictoChart.com is a free online tool you can use to make professional looking infographics. You sign up with an email address and a password. Students and teachers can upgrade for free and have a choice of more themes and tools. Just email them and ask for an education upgrade and it will be added automatically to your account. First you need to have some information or data that you want to represent visually, whether it's the product of your research or another source. I just use the results of a student contest. For more advanced users, there are ways to import your data, but we're going to focus on a simple infographic and manually entering our information. You need to select a theme. Basic users only get three choices, but upgraded ones you get dozens and it's growing. Think about which layout would best represent your information. Don't worry if it looks a little busy, you'll be adding and removing things. I picked wood. You click on it and it loads and you can change things around. First you can change the mood by changing color schemes. I like the green so I'm going to stick with that. Or you can change the font of the writing. The text type, header, subheader, and text. The font size are the types of font. Notice when I click on a box that highlights the text, I get a properties box. This allows me to rotate what's in the box, change it from bold to regular, italicize, underline, shift it left or right, change things within the box, and change the size, and even change the color. That's a whole lot of changes. I can also change the background graphics if I don't like that color of wood. Another thing that you can do is edit the information. More choices. I can add shapes. I can add graphics. I can add text. This is another drag and drop. Header text for larger, subheader, and regular text. If I drag it over, there will now be a text box wherever I place it. There are other tools that allow me to do other things. I can insert a picture, I can insert a chart, or I can insert columns. Images that I've uploaded before I can save and use to put in different places on my infographics or I can upload new ones. There are also theme graphics other items that are already in this particular theme, I can add and put different places. Notice that they're black over here, but because I chose a different color scheme, they become green on this side. There are also places up here where I can undo and redo things. I can use this slide bar to change sizes if I want to see the whole thing or resize it for uploading to a website. 
or when I click on something I can use more edit tools over here for example I don't like this here I'm gonna highlight it and cut it out I don't like this paper I'm gonna highlight it and cut it out drag and drop move it around change whatever you want and yes those are Latin words that you see in the text I think that they chose Latin because it's a dead language so whatever language you're using you'll be able to tell whether or not you've put the information in or not changed it yet and it'll make it easier for editing as I've said the basic method for manipulation is drag and drop you can move things around get rid of them if you don't want them another question you might have is why don't they just give me a blank canvas this is confusing let me insert my own things well you can do that with much simpler programs but remember these layouts and color schemes were prepared by professional designers so the end products would look more professional when I get done making my beautiful infographic I can save it and then I can name it and it will save to my account my save was successful I can look at the menu and see what infographics I have in my account already made or I can look at the menu and download one that I just made as an image HTML or raw data the HTML and raw data are not available yet in static forms for the account that I have but they're working on it so in order to upload it to a website I'm going to have to save it as an image I also cannot print my infographic because there are not enough pixels for it to turn out right so if I download it as an image it tells me that I have to put the file extension on of PNG or JPEG although PNG will give you a better result so I'm going to save it and then I will have it in my account that I can use to add to my website this was just some very basic instructions and even though they say that's really simple it took me a lot of trial and error to get used to manipulating things around but the final product really did turn out pretty good I'm going to log out of pictochart.com and take you to the website to show you what the final product looks like notice the infographic on the left looks much better than the one we just left I used the wood background the Mark Twain Readers Award nominees are on here then I made a much simpler version for the Truman Readers Award using a different theme they do look pretty professional and they were easy to upload as images onto the website so that's a look at pictochart.com and a little basic information about infographics